Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Table Talk. We are continuing our journey through the Holy Land. This is a picture taken from the Sea of Galilee. And what you are noticing is, I don't know why I get so jumbled up half the time. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Table Talk. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Table Talk as we continue our pilgrimage through the Holy Land. This is a tour guide demonstrating the... <laughs> On this picture, you see a tour guide demonstrating to be a fisherman. Now this isn't... <laughs> Now, 2,000 years ago, Jesus was on this very body of water, and as he was walking by, ah, <laughs> this is a mural painted on, why am I screwing this up? This is part of Hocking Hills in Ohio, beautiful scenery in which it reminds us that Jesus said of himself that he is the fountain of life. Well, yeah. Yes. This scenery is part of Hocking Hill State Park in Ohio. It reminds me, and perhaps you as well, in which Jesus said that he is the fountain of water gushing up to eternal life. The cool thing about eternal life is it's not just for a Hey there, and welcome to another edition of Table Talk. These flowering trees are outside my office window. And what else was I going to say about those? Oh, now I remember. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Table Talk. You'll notice this Coke bottle has some different kind of language that most of us can't read, including yours truly, but it's written in Hebrew. Now Hebrew is the original language of the Old Testament. It's the language of Israel. Uh, today, people would say that perhaps English is the universal language. Some people think the Golden Arches are the universal language, or maybe even Coca-Cola is the universal language. I would argue that perhaps love is the true universal language. And we see. 